this week's episode of Working With Apps, I'm going to show you my favourite password manager, 1Password. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my Working With Apps series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how I use 1Password, a pretty robust password manager. Now I've been using 1Password for about 3 to 4 years now and to be perfectly honest I have absolutely no idea how I managed my passwords without it. I guess I must have been like most people and used one password, ha ha ha, uh, for uh, all my logins. But as you all know now, we've got Twitter, Facebook, we've got all sorts of, like for those of you guys using Evernote or using Todoist, they all have passwords to get into the system. Now, to be fair, they are memorized if you're using the same devices, the same computer, the same um, same iPhone or, or mobile phone, you will be able to use the same thing. So you're not always putting in your password. But like I've just recently upgraded my phone from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 10 and I've had to reinstall all my passwords and one password has been absolutely a godsend. It has been fantastic having that app on my phone and now with the iPhone 10 where you can just use the uh, the face recognition face ID to actually open 1Password. It's just wonderful. So today I thought what a great way to show you one of the best password managers out there. I'm going to show you how I use it on my desktop because I think that's actually where I use it most. Um, but I will show you a clip of how, I've, how it works on iPhone 10 because it really is quite amazing what it's doing on there. Okay, before we go into 1Password, I would just like to say if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into 1Password and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so here we go with 1Password. Now, one of the beauties of 1Password is you only ever have to remember 1Password. Now, I actually use a sentence and I, of course, I'm not going to tell you um, what that is, but I'm just typing it in now. There we go. It's in and I can open up my um, <clears throat> my 1Password account. So here we have my 1Password, all items in here. And uh, I haven't really organized this, but I have, as you can see from here, I have uh 242 items in here and you know it's it's got pretty much everything in there so one of the things that you can do is you can have logins which is i have a lot of those in uh, secure notes is notes that you like i have my apple two-step identification in here i've got all sorts of things that i would keep in here i got my credit card details can be in here and I've got uh, all sorts of other things like identities I don't use, passwords are all in here, uh, documents you can save, like I've got my documents saved in here, uh, all sorts of bank accounts, driving licenses, uh, pretty much anything that you can imagine is going to be in here. Software licenses, I've even got my old things license key in here. So I've got all the codes that you would need all in here and that is fun, one of the best things about this. Now the thing about here is this is all very good. You've got them all stored here and you still have to enter your password and that's fine. But one of the beauties of um, uh, of 1Password is if I wanted to create a new um, a new identity. So let's just say I'm going to create a new login. So click on plus and I'm going to call it sample login. And what I want to do is I want to create a password. So what I would do is click this like generation button here. You click on that and it will create a password for you so I can make it as long as I want it and as you can see the the numbers are getting longer um, and it, you can increase the number of digits you can increase you can add symbols you can add all sorts of things in there and you're gonna find that if you look at this particular one here it's all it would be impossible for anyone to really crack that one now the thing is you would also be very imp it would be impossible to actually remember 
how to use that one too. So what I would suggest you do is uh, when you use a password manager like this, I can now go into here. Uh, that's in there. If I save that, um, I can now go into here and choose large type. And there is the password. 22 characters. Would you be able to remember that password? I, I certainly could never remember that password. So that's the kind of passwords that it's actually creating for you. But for me, one of the, 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 the piece de resistance of one password is up here. So once I've got this up here, I can actually just use this. I can go up to here and I've got my favorites in here that I can just click on and I can copy and it will open up the file. Or as I say, you can just copy it so I can go into uh, favorites. If I click on that iCloud and then I can actually just copy and type it into my iCloud account. It's just really, really easy. On a mobile device, as you can see from this clip, it's superb. I mean, it just works with the fa new Face ID on an iPhone 10. It just opens and you're straight in. And quite often it actually has uh, applications that support 1Password, you just have to click on the actual 1Password logo and bang, it'll just add the password for you. You never have to remember a password again. It is so simple. Okay, hopefully that's given you an introduction to 1Password. Uh, this series is not about showing you how to use it. There are plenty of videos out there showing you how to organize and how to use 1Password. I should point out that 1Password has recently switched to a subscriber model. I think it's about $30 or $40 a year to use 1Password. But the security it gives you, it really is well worth the, F, uh, the cost because uh, it's so simple to actually change your passwords as if you need to very very quickly okay hopefully you found this useful if you have any questions at all about one password then please leave them in the comments section below and it just remains for me now to to wish you all a very very productive week mm -hmm.